Peggy 12. Welcome one and all to the second volume of our web series, Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval. You will discover how the Sims Studio have created a realistic medieval environment as we take a look at the decor, the professions available and the creation of those authentic medieval sounds. Plunge into the world of Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval. In the last episode, we discovered how the Sims Medieval game came about, with its realistic atmosphere and colourful characters. Now we continue our journey into the land of the Sims Medieval to discover more. Uh, my name is Dave Motke. I'm an assistant producer for The Sims Medieval. Uh, the first thing that we did to define the visual style of the universe was actually sit down and just come up with a list of all of our preconceived notions and what we expect out of the medieval genre. Uh, me personally, I've done a lot of research into uh, ancient beard growing techniques, uh, irregular bathing, uh, doing a lot of raids on my co-workers' cubicles, you know, things, things that barbarians would do. Um, I feel like it's really important that I, that I live that in, in order to make this game well. We actually took, a, took many inspirations for the, the architectural and the, the decor style for our game. From French, we had Eastern Europe, and you can see little bits and pieces of that all over the game. Ten professions from the period helped the Sims to blend into their new environment. So as well as being monarch, why not try being a knight, physician, wizard, priest, spy, bard, merchant, or blacksmith? Choosing the professions was really tough. Uh, we probably had a little over 30 to start with, and after playing and living with those professions for a while, we started to kind of pare those down, and we ended up with 10 professions. And I think what's really cool about those professions is they're all widely unique. But don't worry, The Sims Medieval is by no means all work and no play. Well, to keep everything funny, our real inspiration was The Sims franchise itself. So when a physician is throwing leeches onto their patient, it's not a bad experience, it's, it's, it's a funny experience. When you launch somebody into the pit of judgment to be destroyed, it's not a bad experience. We want to keep you laughing throughout the whole time. One of the key ingredients to getting lost in this new Sims medieval world is Simlish, the official language of the Sims. A special medieval dialect has even been devised for the new game by the studio. Hi, my name's Jill Johnson. I'm the uh, art content producer for The Sims Medieval. So our audio team did a lot of uh, research with Old English style literary professors and uh, they also took some inspiration from the more fictional, really ancient languages like Klingons from Star Trek they took inspiration from and some of the token languages. And yeah, went from there. <laughs> Our team managed to sneak into the recording studios to see the actors at work in this new Simlish tongue. As you can see, these guys really are ancient language experts. Check out this gory scene where the physician treats his patient with leeches. Oh, here it is in classic modern day Simlish. For Bukinez, yes, sir. And now an old Simlish. Farsayel, Dovrem, Corbe. Durel. And this authentic middle-aged universe wouldn't be complete without some good old medieval music. Thank goodness that the sound team at the Sim Studio were able to find enough minstrels and lyre players to create the original soundtrack of the game. John Debney did an incredible job in terms of making a really, really compelling score that very much felt like it had come from a different time period. We wanted the music to sound right for the, the world of the game. The end result is something special, really transporting you to the Middle Ages. In fact, it makes you feel like having a mighty feast and dancing the night away. And now we close the second ancient volume of Once Upon a Time in The Sims Medieval. Join us next time as we take a trip down the catwalk of the Middle Ages to check out the latest fashions of the period. We'll also be bringing you more information about the gameplay itself and see just how talented all the new characters are. So for the sake of your kingdom, miss not the next ancient volume of Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval.